Hey guys, it's Jeremy here on Metal Music Meltdown, back with another video. What have you today, guys, is next installment of my top 10 albums of each year. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And what I've been doing is starting back in 1970, where it all began, and working my way through you and, pick, and picking my top albums of each year. So we're up to 2004, so we're getting there over time. If you're new to the channel as well, take, definitely check out my playlist. I have them grouped uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and in the 2000s now. <coughs> so... Let's jump right in, guys, for 2004. Pretty solid year of this year. Had some really good albums in here, some that were just okay, but enough to make up a, a top 10 list. Uh, so let's jump right in, guys. At number 10, I went with uh, All For You by Annihilator. Um, most people, when they think of Annihilator, they only really think of the first two albums. I'm not sure why that is. This band has some really solid stuff all the way through the years, and uh, this album in particular has some of their best riffs, up, I think, out of the whole catalog. Definitely one of my uh, favorites in terms of the riffs. Jeff Waters is a beast, and uh, definitely check this album out. It's definitely super underrated. At number nine, I went with Soundtrack uh, to Your Escape by In Flames. Um, again, another band that has some eras that are severely underrated. I'm one of the few people who love all of In Flames uh, eras per personally. Definitely one of my favorite bands of all time, even the newer stuff. And uh, yeah, this is just a great album. It's solid all the way through. Definitely not one of their best, but definitely a solid album. At number eight, I went with Ashes of the Wake by Lamb of God. I'm not the biggest Lamb of God fan, but Ashes of the Wake is definitely one album I've always really liked. Um, it's really solid top to bottom, great drumming, great vocals uh, from Blythe, and uh, just a solid album top to bottom. Definitely not a classic in the more modern classic in metal. And for number seven, I went with Death Angels, The Art of Dying. Super underrated thrash band. These guys should be way bigger than they are, in my opinion. And their whole discography is pretty solid for the most part. And uh, this is just a super good album. It's got good, great riffs, great vocals, super thrashy, in your face. I'm not sure why a lot of people didn't get into this band more than they should, but just a really solid album. At number six, I went to Mighty Motorhead with Inferno. Fucking love the album cover on this one, really pops. And it's fucking love Motorhead. They don't have a weak album in their discography. And uh, out of their 22 albums I think they have, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, 15 plus of them make my list any year there is a Motorhead album because they just love the band that much and they're, all their albums are great, awesome. At number five, I went with Soulfly, Prophecy. I think this was my introduction to the band if I remember correctly. Um, I was into Simple Tour Up before this and then Soulfly, I didn't get right into right away for some reason. I can't remember what happened or if I just didn't hear about them or something. I can't remember. But uh, as soon as I did hear them, I'm a, a huge Max Cavalera fan and I bought up all their stuff. I think I still need to buy the last one or last uh, two albums ago. I think I don't have. There's a couple I don't have in my collection yet, but this is a great album. Just some really solid tracks on here. The title track, In the Meantime, I Believe, Living Sacrifice. Just some really, really good stuff. Love all of Max's uh, projects and I uh, try to buy them all. At number four, I went with Fate of Norns by uh, Amon Amarth. Another band I was heavy into in the past. Love melodic death metal. I think this is one of the first bands that got me into melodic death metal along with In Flames. And then later on, I got into um, Dark Tranquility and some other stuff as well. Uh, but I love this band. Uh, their older albums are definitely better in my opinion. And Fate of Norns is definitely one that stuck out. That's why it's a little bit higher on my list. With uh, The Pursuit of Vikings is an all-time classic song of theirs. Uh, Where Death Seems to Dwell. Um, Valkyrie's Ride, just some really good tunes on here. Their newer stuff I find is kind of too samey. They're kind of starting to put out the same album over and over again. They're still good, but I find the older, older albums have more, they're more rememberable or more uh, distinguishable from each other. The newer stuff I find is a little bit more kind of the same. And number three, I went with Exodus, uh, Tempo of the Damned. Uh, really, really good album. They're super thrashy, aggressive. And uh, the last album that would have Zetro on vocals before uh, Dukes took over for a bit. And just a really, really great album. Again, with some killer tracks like uh, Blacklist, War is My Shepherd, uh, Forward March. Just some really good stuff on here. The title track. Just, yeah, just killer, killer album. Love Exodus, love all their stuff. Except for Force of Habit is kind of shit, but most of their albums are pretty good. 
Number two, I went with uh, The Mighty Behemoth with Demigod. This used to be my favorite uh, Behemoth album for a long time. I think it was my entry point to this band. I got into this band much later because uh, I was never really into like the black and black metal and, and even death metal for a long time. I was most, I mostly stuck with um, thrash and um, traditional metal. But uh, Behemoth is one of those bands I just kind of really grabbed onto. They have a kind of a unique sound. They're kind of black and like I said, and death metal as well. But they have a definitely a different sound than a lot of a lot of a lot of bands. And uh, this one always kind of resonated with me. Um, but uh, the Satanist, in my opinion, is their best album. It's a masterpiece. Uh, but this is definitely my second favorite from theirs, and why it's so high on my list. And at number one, I had to put uh, Leviathan by Mastodon. Love these guys. Um, I never really considered myself like a progressive metal head, but then when I really think, sit down and think about it, like a lot of my favorite bands are progressive uh, metal, like Mastodon, Gojira, my favorite band right now, Opeth, like, so, you know, maybe it's just the sound I really gravitate towards too, I just never really thought about it, but this is a killer album, true masterpiece, it's a concept album, of course, based on Moby Dick, everyone knows. Great artwork, great great guitar playing, great musicianship, great vocals. Just a really, really cool album. Really tells a story and it's just, it's awesome. Had to be number one for me. So now we go down below, guys, what your number one or, you know, top 10 for would be for 2004. And stay tuned for the 2005 uh, episode. I should have it up in the next couple of weeks, I'm hoping. And until next time, guys, keep it metal.